Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Logic. So today we are going to see how we can reset a password and send an email verification using uh, Angular and Firebase. So in our previous video, uh, we have developed the login and registration of user. So if you have not watched that video, I request you to watch that video first and then come to this video. So without wasting too much time, let's get started. Uh, we have opened uh, user studio code so inside src uh, app directory uh, in component section you can see there are three components already present and in uh, auth shared service auth service is there so now we'll create a new terminal uh, we need few more components here so for that uh, we'll use a command nggc component slash forgot password so we are going to create a component name with a forgot password okay after that uh, we'll create another component to verify ml okay now we'll go inside the forgot password dot html file we'll remove the content and we'll open the register dot html file we'll copy the content as it is and we'll add it here in the forgot password dot html file here uh, we'll remove the unnecessary code firstly we'll change heading to the forgot password and uh, we don't want this password section so we'll remove that and uh, we'll modify this link back to login also for the button uh, we'll create a new function forgot password and we'll change name also send link okay so it looks uh, good now we'll open the forgot password.ts file here firstly we'll inject the auth service and then uh, we'll create a variable email of type string we'll assign a uh, empty string there now we'll go inside the forgot password.html file we'll copy the method name we'll paste it here okay and then we'll uh, go inside the auth service file here Here we'll write a method for the forgot password. So forgot password inside which we are passing email as a parameter and then uh, fire auth dot send password reset link. Okay, this method is there and we are passing email to that method and then we are catching the result also for error if you got any error then we'll just raise the alert and write a message something went wrong and uh, if the link has been successfully sent then we'll just navigate to the verify email link verify email component sorry okay we'll close this service file now and in a component.ts file we'll use auth service dot uh, sorry auth small yeah auth service dot forgot password and we'll pass email and we'll assign email as an empty string now we'll go inside the routing module and here we'll add two more routes first one is for the uh, forgot password and verify mail verify email component name will be the 
verify email component and second component will be the forgot password okay we'll close this file now uh, we'll close this one also so now we'll go inside the dashboard dot component dot html file mm, before that we'll go inside the verify email and we'll paste that code which we have copied from the dashboard dot html file and then here we'll declare new div tag with a class mb-3 that means margin bottom 3 and inside the that div tag we are writing some text that is link has sent on your register email please verify it Okay, we'll add some class text mutate we'll close this file now we'll go inside the auth service section after uh, registration is complete then we need to send the email okay so for that uh, We'll create a new method here send email for verification and we'll pass the user that is result.user we'll create that method here add user as a any type and there is a method send email verification okay and on that method we'll catch the result and the error A result is of uh, any type so after uh, we got result as successful then we'll navigate to the verify email page okay otherwise if we got any error then we'll raise the error in our alert box In alert box, something went wrong. Added message not able to send mail to registered email. Okay, after that, uh, we'll open our login component. Okay, uh, inside which, uh, for the forgot password section will add a href a link to the forgot password okay we'll close it and we'll go inside the auth service section here uh, after a login if user has not verified his email then it should not be then he should not be redirected to the dashboard component so for that uh, we'll use if result.user dot email verified is exactly equal to true if it is true then uh, we'll redirect to the dashboard section otherwise 
will redirect it to the verify email. Okay. Here uh, we'll use a temporary mail to register our user. So we'll copy this email address. We'll add it here. Okay. So registration is successful. Now uh, here it is saying that please verify your email. Okay. And uh, in the mailbox, you can see there is a mail okay when your user click on that link uh, his email will be verified okay now we'll go back to the login section and we'll try to login it inside our system okay you can see it is our dashboard screen so yeah that's it for the video guys thank you for watching the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and if you are facing any difficulties then feel free to comment it below see you in the next video till then bye bye